my first time in China, my experiences as a plus size black woman. <laughs> Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining us, please do consider subscribing. On this channel, we talk about all things travel, hotels, reviews in an honest and unbiased manner. Okay, I have been, I have a series of China videos that I have, uh, will be coming up about the Canton Fair, about hotels, what to stay, what to expect, my top 10 tips, but I thought I'd start the China series with my experience of the first time I went to China as a plus size black woman. Boy, oh boy. Right, now, a bit of background about myself, originally from Zimbabwe, and have lived in the UK for over 20 years. I have ex traveled extensively. I have a girl group travel company, so I am used to traveling, and that has allowed me to be open-minded. So this video it, of my experiences is based on somebody who has actually traveled a lot. So I want you to maybe possibly pick out some things from this video if you are not an extensive traveler and then find yourself having to go to China or thinking of going to China and you want an unbiased view, um, you know, we basically have been seeing what has been reported about China and what recently happened to some ethnic minorities. So I just want to share my view of my experiences and what to expect. Okay, number one, a little bit of history about the Chinese people, especially to do with weight and height. Yeah. Remember, this is my review about black women and my size. So on average, uh, Chinese women uh, average weight is 48 to 68 kilos and their height is between 5.2, 5 5.4, 5 5.5. So then they're not a lot of tall um, ladies or people in China. This is according to research and what I've seen when I have been there. So the number one thing that you have to remember as well is that English is not their first language, as you know, and it's not commonly spoken. So there is a huge, huge, huge thing to do with um, English and understanding and social barriers and what can and cannot be done. Okay, so that's just one point just to remember throughout this video. Now, one thing you should get used to and you will get used to and you have to expect to get is stairs. Stairs. Stairs people are going to stare be it from the airport on the plane and we traveled with china southern so i got a few stairs in there but they were very subtle at the markets at the hotels at the restaurants walking out in the street you are going to get stared at and i have become accustomed to this some of the times when people stare at you i would say Please do not take offense and think that it is a racism thing. Not all the time do people stare at you because of a racial intention. The majority of the people that have, it is because they either are do not know, have never seen somebody of your type, or are just inquisitive and curious. And the majority of them have been of no harm. Because I've traveled extensively, it has allowed me to have a little bit of a discerning spirit where you can tell a certain type of looking is just genuine interest, disgust or whatever. Every person of color knows this and you can sort of identify, you know, from time to time. But when I travel, if somebody stares at me, my number one comeback is this, a smile because I find it opens more doors. Some people then end up coming and talking to me. I've had some brilliant conversations with people, but in China, it was very limited because they could not speak English. I did have a guide, translated some of these things for me, but I will also say the first time that I went uh, to China, which is what this video is about, my guide herself, we had um, we had communicated on the phone, on you know, on WeChat, WhatsApp, video message. But when she saw me all for the first time, her first words are, "Oh, Becky, big mama." So <laughs> you know, there is no filter because they don't understand at times that 
what can be seen as a bit offensive or not and then she took us to the driver and again the driver I could sense the driver was saying something to her and then he started rearranging who could sit there who could sit there because we're you know I want the plus size woman to sit there and then the back and then this not everybody that was on this first trip there was four of us not everybody was plus size in fact my one of my friends is probably half my size they still called you know he still said oh we need to arrange it she can sit here you sit in the middle that sort of thing okay again I got to the hotel you get the stairs we were um, our first hotel that we went to wasn't not, not so much but I had to change hotels and I'll tell you more about that in another video so I went into another we went into another hotel this was a five-star hotel we got stairs and predominantly from now what I understand not a lot of people of color stay in those type hotels okay and I'll explain not just because of the price but because it was canted there it's really really busy and we were really lucky to get into this hotel into the bay room and also a lot of the other people of color that they see normally live or stay near the right next to the markets so for them it was also a surprise uh, to see us you know to see us there what I uh, didn't like on my first day is and again this is probably the ignorant side that I will talk about uh, as I was walking into this lobby this woman came it is a, it was a pricey hotel so she walked out and she looked at me and she's like whoa and she tried to touch my hair now I was like well hold on you know uh, don't touch me but you know the guide was there and kind of like talked to her and said something and you know she was like she's just never seen you know anybody of she's never seen a person of color and um, that's why she, I don't know why she wouldn't touch my hair. Now I'm shocked because we went during the time of the Canton Fair. Canton Fair, you know, draws people from all walks of life all over the world. So she should have, or at least maybe they could have, you know, she have had exposure to this. But then again, she may have been coming from another area of China that has never ever seen people of color. So she was really surprised. No harm done there. I'm sure she took a couple of pictures. I was not looking at her because I was so tired, you know, just had a 14 hour flight. So I wasn't even looking into that. And and, um, and you know whatever else went, went, went wrong but that was the beginning of it and I will tell you throughout the days uh, that we stayed there we got stairs we got pictures I'm sure there's some people who took videos of us um, some of them you know if I saw them trying to take a sneaky video or a picture I would actually say you want picture and I'll explain to the guy and she would and then would you know would take a picture and I smile and they would say things and translate to the driver and they would ask me where am I from you know um, what am I doing here and also um, I smell lovely now to be honest with you I didn't understand the I smell lovely bit until a bit later on and again like I said I've got five part videos coming up about China and um, the 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 this was not unnerving at all after a while um, and the pictures uh, touching not so much I did have an experience of touching which I honestly did not like um, and it got me a little bit unnerving and this is on the one day that we'd all gone shopping with the guide but the other girls were taking a bit too long doing something so I and another lady decided just to walk around the mall as we're walking this uh, elderly woman owner of a shop came out of her shop and she just came and straight away touched my boobs Jesus is love and she was talking so fast I'm like whoa don't touch me and I'm trying to push her away now remember this woman is like five foot one or five foot two and I'm pushing her like no and there's people walking around like staring and even laughing because they could hear what she was saying and I couldn't but these were Chinese people and I'm like no don't touch me and she's like nah some some and then she's touching her breast so I'm like, look, I'm not here for this. I'm really, at this time now, you are, this is like, you know, you're sexually assaulting me and it's not right. So I'm on the phone. I'm phoning my guide on loudspeaker. And I'm like, there's a woman touching me. She won't stop touching me. She's touching my breasts. And she's done it like four times now. I'm really getting scared. You know, I, where's the police? Where's something? And he then speaks to her in Chinese and she then speaks back into the phone and whatever. And then he said, oh, well, she's, you know, my guide is laughing at this stage. And he says, look, she's asking you, how did you get your breasts that big? Because she does not have breasts and she wants to know. And I was like, well, you know, again, I'm plus size, but also in my family, the, the big, so I can't give her any recipe. And he's saying she doesn't believe you. You know, he explains that she doesn't believe you. There must be something. So write it down. You know and I said okay fine so I just kind of wrote ostrogen 
on the piece of paper and then she said oh picture picture so we I said okay we get a picture so we took a picture together and she was kind of resting like on me in my breast and I was like oh god and I will say that if you've watched my video of you know uh why your best friend on the flight should be you know the person sitting next to you on this occasion the lady that I was uh traveling with and was with me when this sexual assault was happening was laughing her head off because she couldn't believe this was happening from a woman and the woman was so small and so tiny and me trying to push her she couldn't believe this was happening instead of helping me she was laughing until she actually saw it was distressed she was like okay okay what's going on but again choose who you walk with, with safely anyway back to that now the safety element besides this issue we had no problems with safety our guide was not with us all the time in the evenings we would go out for dinner and every night we went to dinner we'd go to different hotels and things of that nature just you know different eateries every night she was not he was not with us and she or she whichever one we had that day was not with us so we did manage to walk out on our own we were safe nothing happened to us there's police the security at the hotel they started to know us yeah because you know we were not it was not many in fact during the whole duration of this day i think we saw one other black girl and she was from america and she was into furniture uh, but that just gives you an example of where we were so we didn't really have a lot of those you know people of color so i i will say that if you are first time uh, going to china or as a black woman um it's you know prepare yourself for the stairs prepare yourself for photos prepare yourself for people trying to touch you prepare yourself for uh, 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 words or things said to you that may not be you know may, may leave you unnerving the one thing that I did find that I didn't like was when somebody uh, was like this that we literally uh, walked into an elevator and a woman put her fingers and I asked the guy I'm like why is she doing that you know how can you put your nose up and the guy said oh no th these people they're from whatever whatever and he tried to dumb it down and then later on I actually stopped my guide and spoke to him I said what was that about because we've been traveling now for a while with you and we've never had that and this was like the first time I think it was like day three and he said well some of these people there's a market that you haven't gone to that a lot of people from you know it's got a lot of African people and a lot of ethnic people that go there but because the market is so hot and gets busy and sweat there are some people who think you know people of color do smell and I found I was so uh, it really it really really upset me and then I actually remembered what the woman <laughs> the one woman said to me oh you smell nice you smell lovely you smell lovely and I thought that's what she was talking about so because I asked you know then I got an answer and then of course I did go to this place that they talked about and, and, and uh, yeah it turned out to be a lot something similar but again it is not it's not it's uncomfortable you know it's uncomfortable um, I don't recall being followed in a shop I think only one um, there was a big H&M that we went into but I I think it was more about directional that we were being followed by the, the, the security guard because he was trying to see do we know where we are and whatever it wasn't anything of um, I do I, at that state to me and from actually then conversing with him and asking him to hold our bags a bit later on it, it seemed like we should have checked in some bags somewhere before going to the shop and that's what he was following but but I think he was trying to find an, a, a way to say this to us and I'm so glad I didn't overreact because actually there was a sign in English that we had actually missed okay so what I would definitely say is prepare yourself for the stairs prepare uh, for the unexpected I did a little bit of research before I went so I knew about the heights and weights of people and what to expect but as always I will always always say one of the best things that somebody is staring at if you find yourself in a situation that makes you so so uncomfortable first of all try this international language which is to smile and if you can talk to them because most of the time your attitude determines the outcome yes they are racist people in China I do know that yes they are people in China who have never been encountered a, a, a black person and, and at that a plus size a black person um, what I took from it is um, you uh, you know there are other areas as well in Africa where they have not seen white people or Chinese people or way down you know in the country so they will stare at them or chase after them um, you know so it's to be expected but the good things that came out of this is there's somebody who's going oppa oppa like, oh, who's oppa and they're saying Oprah like 
Girl, I wish I had Oprah's money, but I am not Oprah. So that was kind of funny that they used to think they, they some of them were thinking that I'm Oprah. And um, the one last thing that I will say, <laughs> which is now a common joke, I don't know why it's here, but it's a common joke with my friends um, that we've travelled with. We went to certain markets and certain retails, and the minute you walk in, remember this is a place where people are selling their goods and services. They come up, like, you want slimming tea? You want slimming tea? As soon as they see your size, they're offering us slimming tea. Now, <laughs> the first one kind of offended me, but after spending two hours in this place and having had being offered slimming tea at least a minimum of 20 times, I just had to just go with the flow and just say, no thank you or yes i have and that's it you know and they just leave you alone but again slimming tea even to my friend who's like half my size because of our structure and made it curves she still was offered slimming tea so it is now a common joke and i tell the ladies before i travel them that you're going to be offered slimming tea don't take any offense to it we all get offered slimming tea i would get offered slimming tea and the next person hearing said no 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 i got better slimming tea and in fact one of them came running out of the shop with a picture of slimming tea and this so some of it this is this is my honest opinion of what you can expect when you go to china as a plus size uh, black woman some of it is it ignorance i don't know china is a kind of a closed country so it could be as always really appreciate your input if uh, you have any questions, please do hit me up in the comments links below and I will see you at the next video. Take care and have a great day.